What's up, you guys? We're back with another episode of Pokemon Sword. So last time we were looking in the grass to see if we could find any new Pokemon. So we're going to try a little bit more to see if we could find any more Pokemon in Route 1. And we named, last episode we named our uh, Score Bunny, Lola Bunny. Alright, so we don't really want a Grubbin, and we don't really want to waste the uh, four Pokeballs that we have left on a Grubbin. So we'll go ahead and see if we could find something else in these in this grass. Alright. Ooh, I think that's a, that looks like a new Pokemon. Okay. Nice! I haven't seen this before. A Nicket. Okay. A wild Nicket. Let's go ahead and catch it. Let's continue testing our theory of whether you need to weaken Pokemon in Route 1 in order to catch them. Let's just go straight for the Pokeball. Alright. One, two, three. Nice! We got it! A Nicket. What type do you think this Pokemon is, guys? Lola Bunny, nice. Grew level. Alright, Rotom will tell us. A dark type, okay. Aided by the soft pads on its feet, it silently raids the food stores of other Pokemon. It survives off its ill gotten gains. Huh. A Nicket. Yeah, we don't want to name it right now. Let's go ahead and check, um,. What other types the other Pokemon that we've seen are? Alright, so how do I access the actual Pokedex here? Okay. Let's go all the way up. Alright, Grookey. Let's start with Grookey. Okay, Grass type. Scorbunny, Fire type. Grubbin, we know is a Bug type. Rookity, we found out last episode, is a Flying type. Squivetta, Normal type. Nicket, as we just found out, is a Dark type. And Wulu is a Normal type. Okay, so we have those so far. I'm not sure if I want to use any of the new Pokemon on on my team, though. So we'll we'll continue on and see. Oh, let's actually check what moves it has. Um, let's go Rookity. Or let's start with Score Bunny. All right, let's rearrange these moves a little bit. So let's put Ember since it's our stab move first. Quick Attack second. Tackle's kind of useless because we can just use Quick Attack, so we'll put that at the end. And then Growl will be third. Alright, cool. Okay, Rookity has Peck, Leer, and Power Trip. Okay, let's see what Power Trip is. Okay, so the more you raise your stats, the stronger the uh, move becomes. And let's see what nature we got. A quirky nature, okay, so a neutral nature. Nice. And it has a keen eye ability. Score Bunny, as we know, has the Blaze ability. Okay, so Nicket. It's fast and it's physically at a disadvantage. So its attack is uh, hindered. It has the unburdened ability which boosts the speed stat if the Pokemon's held item is used or lost. Okay. And it's dark type. It has quick attack and tail whip. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to use these guys right now. We'll continue on and we'll see. Okay. So I'm not sure if we can access our PC boxes from the uh, from the menu, or if that's only in the in the wild area. I heard that in, in some trailers, but we'll see, I guess. Alright, so let's keep moving on then. Let's keep moving forward. Let's actually deposit um, the new Pokemon that we caught in the boxes, because if you guys didn't know, um, if you train with other Pokemon in your uh, in your team, they will actually gain experience. The uh, EXP share is automatic and you can't turn it off, so whatever's in your team will get experience. So let's actually take these guys out so the score or Lola Bunny <laughs> can get more experience. And if we want to train Nicket and um, our other Pokemon, we can do so later if we choose to use them. So this is actually where we stopped last episode, so let's. Let's talk to these people. In the morning, my Pokemon wakes me up, and in the evening, I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine life without Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if the other ladies has something else or the same thing. If you're looking for the Pokemon Professor, you can usually find her at her lovely home by the lake, enjoying the slow life. Okay. So she likes the slow life. Alright. What do you got to say? I heard that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer, just like Leon. And what is this place? It looks like a food market. Berries. I've got your fresh picked berries. What do you say? Interested in something? What you got? Okay, so you got a cherry berry, which um, cures paralysis. Pekka berry, which cures um, poisoning. 
and the or the Orin Berry heals um, HP by 10 points, but for now we'll pass. And I think we actually have a lot of money um, for the start of a Pokemon game. I think in other games you usually start off with like 5,000, but right now we have 30,000. It's fun to do some shopping in a boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, in this game there's a character customization, which is cool. Ooh, do you guys see that Pokeball over there to the left? Having a meal with your Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. Does it now? I guess we'll taste it. I guess we'll try that. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get that. Pokey doll, okay. A doll that attracts the attention of Pokemon. It guarantees escape from any battle with wild Pokemon. Oh, okay. That's nice. Alright, let's go ahead and go into the boutique then. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Alright, what do you got to say? If you want to put on something you've bought, go ahead and use the fitting room. I don't know if we want to spend all our money on clothes before we have Pokeballs, but we'll see if they have anything cool. Did you know that each shop offers a different lineup of apparel brands? I think the brands they carry here might be a bit too young looking for me. Okay, okay. Alright, so we got the fitting room and this lady to talk to. Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? Ooh. Oh no, I'm going to want to buy everything. Okay, so what do we have now? Can we check? Um, not sure. All right, let's let's just. Okay, so these are the gloves. Well, we're on the gloves. Okay. So these are the shirts. These are 900 each. All right, let's see. We got a black shirt, a reddish shirt. I think we already have a reddish shirt. Well, we'll buy another one. Maybe it's a little bit different. All right, so black, red, yellow, ish, green. Ooh, bluish. I like this. Uh, orange, navy. Purple, pink. Ooh, I like the pink. It's kind of bright. It looks uh, like neon, fruity. It looks fruity. Gray, tan, white, striped white, striped um, top, which is black. The same thing, but in yellow, in green, in orange, in navy, in purple, in pink, in gray, in tan. Arcanine. Ooh. <laughs> uh, urban is smog. And casual tea. Okay. Okay, hoodies. Okay. Let's see if how the hoodies look on us. Okay. I like this blue. Hmm. All right. But I don't know if we should waste any money or use up any money. Spend any money. It's probably a better term. Okay, so these are the pants. I don't know if we should spend any money on um, clothes because I kind of want to use it on Pokeballs. But we'll definitely come back in the future. All right. Here are the socks. You can barely see them, but still adds to our uh, style. Okay, and these are cheaper, 390. And there's a lot of socks. I think there's more socks than everything else. <laughs> okay, we got different types of shoes. All right, and travel bags. Okay, so can we uh, turn our? Uh, oh, there you go, our character. So you can see the bags. So right now, I think we have like a... We have our dad's brown bag, the one Hal was making fun of. Okay, so we got the cap. <laughs> These all look like berets. Are they, are they berets? Probably berets. Oh, and beanies. I like the beanies. Ooh, they added... I think compared to X and Y, they have more um, clothes in this game. More room for customizing. Alright, and the gloves. Alright, so we'll definitely come back, guys. Um, I kind of want to save some money. Are you all done shopping for now? Yes. Thank you for coming by, and do feel free to use our changing room whenever you'd like to. Alright, so I'm guessing the changing room, or the fitting room, will allow us to, uh... Oh, did we buy this, or did we get it somehow? Hmm. Yeah, it would. I think this would let us change clothes, or it would make sense. Three-fourths sleeve polo. Can I change... Ooh, okay, so we have the blue, striped, the red, a white tee, and then the red. Let's leave the red on. It's pretty bright. Alright, so we got these pants and these pants. Alright, I like these. Um, the socks you can barely see, but... Um, black socks, white socks, or default... Or no socks, I think that is, right? Or trainer socks. It looks like he's not wearing anything. Let's go with those. One type of shoes, one type of bag. We got the knit cap in gray, and then 
glasses. Okay. We'll wear these, these. How do we take glasses off? Or oh, remove with X. Cool. And then we have the gloves. Do we have blue gloves, red gloves, or nothing? Alright, we'll leave it like this. Um, let's check our appearance. Okay, not bad, not bad. But we'll definitely change in the future. Alright, are you going to keep your current look? Yes, let's keep our current look. Let me actually double check and see if we actually spent money because <laughs> we could have. Okay, it doesn't look like we did, so. I guess we already had all that clothes. Alright, let's continue on then. So right now our mission is to go to Oh, there's Hop. Is to go to Route 2 to meet um, the professor. Listen, Ivan, I've been thinking, if you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the Pokemon gym or at the gym challenge, right? And what's that? Come on, I think everyone knows the gym challenge. The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. Ooh. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part too. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. Yes, let's do that. I'm anxious to meet, um, new Pokemon. Alright, who lives here? Let's go ahead and explore their home. Alright, can we interact? Can we turn this on? Yeah, we turned it on. Alright. What do you got to say? Sonya and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... But what? What happened? <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out. Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out, even on practice matches. Ooh, that's gonna be us. We ain't playing no games. Alright, Wooloo, what do you got to say? Bat. <laughs> Alright. Basics for Pokemon Trainers Lesson 1. The Pokemon at the top of your team will be the first one to enter battle. Yes. Basics for Pokemon Trainers Lesson 2. Don't forget to record your progress often. Basics for Pokemon Trainers Lesson 3. If a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the power the move's power increases. Yes, as we saw when we were fighting Hop, we um, destroyed his Grookey for that reason. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. True, true. You're right. Alright, let's go ahead and save just in case um, that um, that person up ahead is a trainer. We don't want to we don't want to risk losing. Did you guys see that sparkle? You see that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon Professor lives. Oh, I see it. Okay, let's see what this sparkle's all about. Revive. Nice. A medicine that can be used to revive a single Pokemon that has fainted. It also restores half of the Pokemon's max HP. Yes, revives are very useful. Okay. Ooh. I like the graphics in this game. Alright, Route 2. Alright, let's go ahead and save again before... Talking to Hop, maybe he wants to battle us again, or before t before running into new Pokemon. Over here, Ivan! Alright, Ivan, it's time we filled in our teams a bit. Oh, there's Leon, and I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Only look at you, little Ivan. You've already caught some on your own. Yes, your mom gave you those balls, didn't she? Apparently she did. We had no idea. <laughs> I'll give you some more Pokeball. Yes, thank you. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch, almost like they're itching, itching to join some trainer's uh, team, wouldn't you say? Thank you. 20. Oh, we got plenty now. Now we're going to be catching everything. The Pokemon on your team will get EXP points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course, they get EXP points from battle, so take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Yes. Alright. Alright. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly what I said. Alright, I'm going to catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. Alright, Hop. See how you do. We're going to do better, though. Alright, let's see what's in this, let's see what's in this uh, grass. Ooh, new Pokemon, okay. A wild blip bug. Hmm, I wonder what type it is. I mean, it has bug in the name, so I kind of don't want to ember because it might kill it in one shot. 
because it would be super effective, so let's go with quick, quick attack. Ooh, okay. Um, struggle bug. Alright. I think we should go for the Pokemon right now. Ooh, our special attack fell. Yeah, I think, uh, Tackle might take it out, so, yeah, let's go for the Pokeball. Use. I wonder what typing this is. What do you guys think? It's definitely Bug. Do you guys think it's something else, though? Bug. Yes, we got it. We're about to find out. Flip Bug was caught. Lola Bunny getting those 23 experience points. Alright, Rotom. Tell us what we're looking at. <laughs> okay, it's Pure Bug, a constant collector of information. This Pokemon is very smart. Very strong is what it isn't. Ah, uh, okay, so... I don't know we want, if we want to use that. <laughs> Alright, anything else? I think the scroll that we've seen... Alright, let's actually go uh, deposit this uh, Pokemon at the Pokemon Center because I don't really want it to gain experience. Let's actually check um, its moves and anything else that we can see from it. Okay, so check summary. So it's a bug type. It has a bad special attack and good defense. It has a swarm ability, which powers up bug moves when the Pokemon's HP is low. Okay, so it just has um, struggle bug. Alright. It's a cool looking Pokemon, but if the Pokedex already says it's weak, I don't really want to use it. But who knows, they might make the evolution the opposite of weak, so we'll see. We might use it. Alright. Hopefully they let you, uh, they probably won't, let you use the uh, PC on the go, probably just in the wild area. But that would have been really convenient, especially with them um, having the EXP share always on. Alright, did we, are we hurt? Is our score going to hurt so we can heal it? A little bit. Alright, let's go heal it real quick. Alright. Yes, this animation looks awesome. Alright, see you again. We have loads more Pokeballs, as you guys saw. Leon gave us. So, let's go explore Route 2. See what other Pokemon we could run into. Alright. Was that a Yamper? Let's go ahead and save real quick, though. Alright, guys, so in the next episode, we're going to be looking for more Pokemon in Route 2. If you guys enjoyed, please share, subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you guys next time.